Hey guys, Zach from Apogee. I wanted to give you an update. Specifically, I wanted this one to be about what we are doing proactively to build the only COVID-19 uh, friendly facility possibly in the state. Uh, so there's a few things that we're doing technology-wise and policy-wise to make sure that, you know, at the end of this whole thing, people can get their life back on uh, with some of the policies that are set in place. And I believe that we're pioneering a lot of things that can even help shape the policies moving forward here for what we're doing. Uh, so we have a few different facets to address for our business because we're multifaceted. Uh, we basically do everything except for food um, in the event production process. Some of that includes uh, a little bit of podcast production, that sort of thing. So how we clean all of our microphones, this is both on our DJ side. So if our DJs go out in the field, we have enabled um, all of our DJs um, have been given uh, what are we these UVC sanitation wands and what this does is it mirrors the the spectrum of sunlight uh, UVC and it destroys the DNA and the RNA inside of the viruses so this is my podcast microphone uh, which I do disinfect you know if we're gonna have guests inside of here and all of our DJs are have one of these and they're disinfecting all of their microphones including the one that I'm wearing right now uh, every single time before and after use, um, you know, we might have to get, it'll shut off um, if I tip it too far, and if I get it to a 45 degree angle, but, that's, but that UVC spectrum of light is going to be what ultimately destroys a virus really within seconds. So that's why sunlight is so effective with ventilation um, as well, which we have in abundance here. Upstairs, all of our desks, we've made sure to put six feet apart. Um, and, and there is even another one of these UVC lamps aside from, um, aside from the handheld one. We have this one where we can turn on every single night and disinfect the whole room where we're all up here in case somebody comes through that day um, that maybe shouldn't have. Although we can host 100 people right now, we would like to limit it to 50 people just to kind of give that extra uh, layer of safety here. And you notice when you walk in that, uh, we have our first uh, hand sanitizing station. We do have masks available. Um, these chairs, um, we make sure that we're able to socially distance people apart here because they all just come apart. Uh, we have our first restroom here. So sanitation policy, since we're not actually open right now, uh, our staff is the only one using this restroom and, it, and the, everybody's responsible to sanitize uh, after themselves. As we come through the back here, uh, to the back of the warehouse, we have lots of ventilation through here. We have double open rolling doors. We can even pull this open again one more time. Uh, this is an ex to give us an extra 10 by 20 uh, open space of ventilation. In our showroom, this is where we can socially distance up to 45 people. We have one restroom that is closed right now. We're trying to stay out of here. If you'll notice, we also have these purple light bulbs in here. These are UVC sanitation lights. And we can turn these light bulbs on and how it works is it scrambles the DNA and the RNA of the viruses like COVID-19. And what that does is it disinfects the room within a few minutes. So between groups, we can actually get people in for shows that we'll produce because we do plan on hosting and producing our own shows at some point. And when we do that, we can turn these lights on and in minutes sanitize the room between groups. It's, a, it's an amazing sanitation tool uh, that we're lucky to have. Um, back of the here of the warehouse, we're obviously still in heavy construction. Uh, from the outside, we've blocked this part off. But uh, yeah, we have this enormous outside patio where we can still talk about everybody's events. We, you can also clearly see we've got an extra hand sanitizing station, uh, th thermometer, at the base of our offices down here between our flower shop and our showroom, kind of this main cross intersection. We've also have got a, another UVC wand and the hand sanitizer.